1965, I did what is considered the greatest minute ad lib in the history of television. Because not only did it prove how powerful the medium was, but it got me thrown off the air. <laughs> now, now I, was, I was always accused of saying a lot of other things which I didn't. But, but this I did, because I thought it, it was five minutes before seven, and we were doing the show in the evening. It was New Year's Day night, and we were in a commercial, and the director comes over there and the says, when we come out, you're going to have a minute. What do you want to do? Well, I was writing all the shows. If I could save a bit for the next day, I would do it. So I said, I'll add lib some. So he knows I always work so close to the camera, closer than anybody else. So when it came out, I walked up to the camera and went, hey, kids, I said, last night was New Year's Eve and your mom and dad were out having a good time. And it's only right because they work hard all year long. They're probably still in the bedroom sleeping. I said, what I want you to do is tiptoe in the bedroom, but don't wake them up. And you'll probably see your mom's pocketbook on the floor and your dad's pants, but don't wake them up. I said, I want you to go in your mom's pocket, look in your dad's pants, and you'll see a lot of green pieces of paper with pictures of guys with beards. <laughs> I said, why don't you do, I, what I want you to do is take those green pieces of paper and you put them in an envelope, and on the envelope you write, Soupy Sales, Channel 5. Do that. New York, New York, and you know what I'm going to send you? A postcard from Puerto Rico. <laughs> and we all laughed and went on, and we came in. <laughs> That's my ride home. Uh, so I come in the next week, we had $80,000. So I said, well, hell, that's better than working. You just buy a minute on TV and people send you money. Now, some woman from New Jersey wrote a letter to the FCC and sent a copy to Metro Media and said, I was encouraging the kids to steal. Oh, really? So now, you know, if you get two or three letters or two or three calls, you don't pay any attention to it because people will watch and listen to you. They hate you. If you get 40 or 50, there's something else. Shh. So, anyway, so now I come in one day and they said, the executives would like to see you upstairs in the conference room after the show. And I said, they're probably going to give me a raise. <laughs> so I walked up there, and I do not lie. I walked in. There are 11 attorneys, 10 guys, a woman, Muriel Reese. She's still there today. The vice president, general manager, and the vice president jumps in. Listen, that's how he talks. Did you go on TV New Year's Day night and tell the kids to go in their mother's pocket, look at their father's pants, and send you a green piece of paper with pictures of guys on it with beards? I said, that's right. He said, how much did you get? I said, $80,000. <laughs> and the man goes into catatonic shock. Well, he threw me off there right then and there. And thank God some people came around and threw eggs and paint at the station, and that was just my family. <laughs> You know, but I tell you, kids are very smart. They did send in green pieces of paper, Monopoly money, although I did get a dollar from some 28-year-old girl and said, I've seen your show and you should go to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. God bless you, folks.